I'm Christine. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm here with a summer book haul. It is July 1st and I just want to kick off the book hauls for summer. So we're just going to call this like summer book haul part one because we know there will be more parts coming later in the summer. So I have a bunch of special editions to get to. I'm just like eyeballing them over here. Special editions that I got in, some book bonanza book haul, and then some books like from publishers or new releases I grabbed or new favorites. So we're just going to jump into it. <laughs> So first up is the Fit Teacher Rachel book box that she did recently. I love following Rachel on Instagram. She has so much great recs like for household items, skincare, like all of those is what I follow her for. And of course I love her book box editions as well, which these ones I grabbed because I have read all of them and absolutely loved them and just obsessed with her like editions. So first up is the Bittersweet Duet by QB Tyler. So here is this edition and in the back. This has two books in it, so it has Bittersweet Surrender and Bittersweet Addiction. I recently read these and had a great time with them. This one involves cheating, so it's a heroine with her marriage counselor. So we have all of that going on, and I actually loved book two in it more than book one, but book one is great as well, so I just loved this edition and had to have it. Then also in this book box was Still King by Devney Perry. This is the first book in the Clifton Forge series, and I'm obsessed with this one. Like the cover model and the whole look just like it captures it so so well. This is a disbanded MSC series and so it has six books in it. This is book one. Love the floppiness. These came signed as well. So yeah, love having this edition. I'm always a sucker for Devonie Perry special editions, which we'll see with my haul later on. I have a bunch of new ones from her. The Beautifully Cruel Duet by JT Geisinger. So here is the cover, which I'm obsessed with all the details on it. This one includes two books, so Beautifully Cruel and Cruel Paradise. Again, let's just love all the details on here. This one I really enjoyed this series. This is a, of course, mafia romance series from JT Geisinger. I love her mafias so much more than her contemporary romances. So the characters in this one you do see in some of her other mafia series making appearances, and eventually they're all going to be in this like giant mafia universe. So yeah, excited to have this one. Next up, these are from the last chapter bookshop. So this was like a secret baby, surprise pregnancy, single mom type trope box. I think it was like the baby box or something like that. So there is another one as well, which is the Devney Perry book, which I have that shelved over there with some of my Devney books. So these are the first four. We have Our Finest Hour by Jennifer Milliken. I have never read this author, but I am intrigued and I love the blue on this one. We have Meet Me Halfway by Lillian T. James. I have read this one. So this is this cover of the pink and then it has just like really cute hearts on the inside as well as these like floor maps of the characters houses because they end up becoming neighbors and that's how they meet. So yeah, I just love like cute little hearts in this one. I have A Chance Encounter by Nikki Ash. I recently read a Nikki Ash book for the first time and I'm excited to check out more from her. So here's this one. This one is a single mom and a musician. So love the like details of the music notes here and kind of like the band scene. And then this one is 1% of You by Michelle Gross. I have heard great things about this one. So I'm excited to check it out. Here is this one and just the blue. Next up is another book box from the last chapter. So this was a recent one they did for Ex-Boyfriend's Dad, I believe. So that's what all of these are, which I have actually read all but one of these, and so I'm excited to get to it. So first up is Golden Wings and Pretty Things. I love this cover and read this one by Kaylee King. So again, these are all Ex-Boyfriend's Dad. So in this one, the heroine is in college, and she actually ends up needing help from her ex-boyfriend's father who is the hero and he's like the dean of the school or something like that and so it becomes their little setup like he decides he's going to help her out with what she needs at school if she's willing to do whatever he requests or wants from her for like a certain amount of time and then of course it obviously leads to feelings i had a hard time getting into this one at the beginning but the last half once like the feelings develop i did enjoy it more Next up is Daddy's Angel by K.A. Knight. I read this one years ago. I know that it is the heroine getting like revenge on her ex cheating on her. So she's like, you know what? I'm going to get with your dad. So it has that set up. I love the like little halo and the angel wings on this one. So there is that. So these two, which this one came with the box. So this is Mafia Mistress by Mila Finelli. Love this one so, so much. Like Mafia set in Italy. Such a good time. The heroine has like an arranged marriage with the hero's son. But then of course the hero falls for her instead. So this is book one. And, and then they had an add-on that you could do Mafia Darling, which is the follow-up to this book. Like there, the couple's story is completed in this one. So I grabbed this as well. So yeah, I just like love the details on here on the backs of both of these. And of course on the front as well. So I'm excited to have these. This is the only one from that book box that I haven't read. So this is Charming Your Dad by Sarah Blue. I've heard great things about this book and about this author in general. So I'm excited to check out this one. Next up, this was part of two books that came with the Bookaholic book box. The other one was a Daphne Perry, which I'll show in a little bit. This is The Calamity by Jennifer Milliken. Again, I need to read this author because I have a couple special editions from her now, but I love like the purple foil on here. 
and the back. It says, when it rains on the ranch, it pours. It came with like some art of the couple as well. And then this is the art for the Devney Perry one. Yeah, I'm excited to check this one out. Also, I'm subscribed to the Bookish Box. So this was their recent one. This was actually like the January book, which we just now got in the end of June. So they're definitely behind. Surprise, surprise. So this is A Kingdom of Stars and Shadows by Holly Renee. I haven't heard the greatest things about this book, but, and there's the sprayed edges and it has like the alternate little cover as well, as well as like the decorated book. Haven't heard the greatest thing about this one, so I might actually end up unhauling it, but yeah, I got this one in. <laughs> Next special edition that I got in is The Frat Boy by Nikki Sloan. This is part of her Nashville Neighborhood series, which I love that series and love this book in particular as well. So I had to have it. I wanted to grab it. This was actually from the Steamy Lip Box that they did a special edition for her. And then I took this to Book Bonanza and had Nikki sign it for me there. So that was super fun. So just love the like details on here. This one is actually an older cover to cover book box edition. So this is All the Little Lies by S.J. Silvis. I love this one, like the plaid and the details. This one's like a prep school academy type romance and I'm excited to check it out. I loved S.J. Silvis's hockey romance and I'm excited to dive back into some of her older books. And then also from cover to cover was the rest of the Salacious Players Club series by Sarah Kate. So they did Praise last year or the year before and I had a hardcover of that one and so they were doing the rest of the series. So Eyes on Me is book two. Give Me More is book three, my absolute favorite. I actually took this one to Book Bonanza and got her to sign it for me. And then book four is Mercy in the series. So here's this one as well. So yeah, I'm excited to have these. They're hardcover and matte and just like super nice with a shiny and can't wait to have them with the rest of the series on my shelves. The next up is Forsaken Trail by Devony Perry. This is part of her Runaway series, which is so underrated and more people need to read it. But this one was from the last chapter bookshop that like baby box they did that I talked about earlier. So I am obsessed with this edition. This is one of my favorite books in the Runaway series and I'm obsessed with this edition like the map and all the details of the road trip. Just like so, so good. I actually took this one to Book Bonanza and had Devney sign it for me. And this one I talked about earlier too. So this was from the Bookaholic book box that they did the Jennifer Milliken. This was the other book that came with it. So the reason I got the box was for this one, Fallen Jester by Devney Perry. This is, I believe, book five in the Clifton Forge series and one of my absolute favorites, one of my favorite Devney Perry books like of all time as well. So I had to have it. Love like the shine on here. Hopefully it shows the like white shine on the writing. I think this is just stunning. Again, this is like a disbanded MC group. So we have the little like motorcycle guy here. Just like so obsessed. Love it. Had Devney sign it in Texas when I was at Book Bonanza. Next up from Eternal Embers is this gorgeous, gorgeous edition of Tristix Venom from Penelope Douglas. So here is the gorgeous slip case. Has a little quote on the side. And then the back with the book out. Book is absolutely stunning. I've been an Eternal Embers subscriber since their very first book, which was A Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin, which is like right behind me. They started last year and I'm just obsessed with their quality. And this one is stunning. I love this book. This is a sapphic romance from Penelope Douglas. And I had a really good time with this one. So here is the gorgeous cover, the sprayed edges, hopefully everything's showing. And then the back as well. The details on the inside are just beautiful. Signed by Penelope Douglas. And then we have this art print that came with it, as well as like this little overlay moment as well. Just like absolutely stunning. I believe half the proceeds of this or more went to a charity as well, which love to see it. So also from Eternal Embers, I believe this was the June box. So they did Mia Sheridan. There's usually come in these nice like slip cases, which I love. They have like quotes and details for the author and then for the books included. And so these are the two books. So let's see. So it came with Travis and Kyland. So here is Travis and the back. And the Kyland one, I love the silver shiny and the back as well. I need to read these two, so hopefully I get to them soon. <laughs> and then for Bell Book Box, they did Indigo Ridge by Devney Perry for her Edens series a couple years ago, which I have it up there on my shelves. And then they decided to continue on. So they did Juniper Hill, which is my absolute favorite in the Edens series. Gorgeous green. And then it has the like mountain sprayed edges. Hopefully that shows. And then we have Garnet Flats, which is book three. And again, like the mountain details. So excited to have these. They look stunning with Indigo Ridge, which I'll show a picture here of all three of them together and the sprayed edges as well. 
so stunning. I love Bell Book Box. They also do Mystic and Arcane and just like such amazing quality. Next up, the last chapter bookshop did this like starter kit for Katherine Cowell. So they did the first book in each of her series so far or most of them. So I had to grab them their hardcovers and they just turned out so beautiful. So first up is Tattered Stars, the first book in the Tattered and Torn series. Here's the back. I have Beautifully Broken to Pieces, which is the first book in the Sutter Lake series. Love the shine on here in the background with a stack of pancakes. And then Reckless Memories, which is the first book in the Wrecked series. Absolutely stunning in the back as well. I'm so excited to have these on my shelves. I love Catherine Cowles. I love these series and like can't wait to shelve them with the rest of my Catherine Cowles that I have like right down here. And then I also did do the Devney Perry Clifton Forge special editions that she had. So this is the only one that I have unwrapped. Like the rest of them are still in the plastic wrap because I have them sealed until I decide where to display them. So hopefully this shows up, but it's like black on black. Love it. This is Steel King, the first book in the Clifton Forge series. The details on here are just so beautiful. I love on the back, we have all of the couples for each book. And then we have sprayed edges. So they all have the flame and then the sprayed edges matches the like original cover for each book in the series, which I love that detail. We have the interior with the skulls because this is like an MC disbanded group. They're of course all signed from her as well. Yeah, I'm super excited to have these. I thought they were actually a pretty reasonable price for special editions. Like when you broke it up per book, it was actually cheaper than a lot of the ones that I get at like book signings and things like that. So I'm excited to have them. This is one of my favorite series from Devney. So I thought it was worth it and I love them. <laughs> So next up are some books that I got in recently. So first up is Into the Tide by Laura Pavlov. This is the first book in her Cottonwood Cove series, which I absolutely love. This one is one of my favorite reads of June. I took it to Book Bonanza and had her sign it and she put like a quote on it, which is so fun. Love this one and had to have it for my shelves. Next, I was sent this from the publisher. So this is Business or Pleasure by Rachel Lynn Solomon. This one is actually coming out in July and I cannot wait to read it. I have really enjoyed this author's previous books. Dangerous King by Sienna Snow. This was a recent Hell Lovely Box Trope of the Month book box. So this was the Mafia one. So excited. I have not read this author before or this book, but I just love the vibes of this. It actually kind of gives me vibes of JT Geisinger's special editions that she did, like the same kind of a look, but I don't care. I'm excited to have it on my shelves. Next up, this one was actually lost in transit for two months and it finally came in. So it's Weak Side by SJ Silvis. This is like the alternate edition, which I love more. I'm excited to finally have it on my shelves. This was a hockey romance and I love this one. It came out back in April and it was one of my favorite reads of the month. I am so excited to finally have it on my shelves. Then I was sent a copy of On Thin Ice by L.A. Cotton from the author. It came with like fun swag and stickers and art and bookmarks and like all the like annotation supplies you can need. Absolutely loved this one. I did read an arc of this one and loved it so, so much. Hockey romance, alpha hole hero who turned out to not be an alpha hole. Loved it so much. Like so, so good. And then next up is Crimson River by Devaney Perry. This is the fifth and most recent book in the Edens series, which I love. This one, I actually enjoy the romantic suspense elements more than the romance, but like if you're here for romantic suspense, this one definitely delivered. Next, I was sent My Rogue to Ruin by Erica Ridley. I was sent this from the publisher. This is an ARC and this one comes out, I believe in September. So I am so excited. I do not love the cover. This is the next book in her Wild Winchester series, which has had a stunning, gorgeous couple clinch covers. And now we have like this cartoon one. Don't love to see that, but I am excited for the book. <laughs> Except I have Love Me Today by A.L. Jackson. This is the first book in a new series from this author. My new favorite from her, I loved it so much. It, it just came out in May and it was like one of my favorite reads of June. Forbidden Hearts by Corinne Michaels. Absolutely loved this one. I read this one, an arc of it in May. It just came out in June. Loved it so much, like single dad hero, nanny romance, just like all the tropes that I love and I am obsessed with it. <laughs> And then these two books I picked up recently at a local used bookstore. They had some like indie romances, which I'm always excited to see. First up is Zenny by Rebecca Weatherspoon. This is one of my favorite reads. I read it, I think like four years ago at this point. Loved it so, so much. And I am so excited to finally have a copy. I'm actually going to be seeing Rebecca Weatherspoon at a book signing in August. And so I'm definitely taking this one to get signed. There was also like a bunch of like Christmas romances there. And so they had Jingle Wars, which is by Veronica Eden and Marin Moore. And I have loved Veronica Eden's books recently. I read her recent like hockey romance and have just been like reading all of her other contemporaries she has out. And Marin Moore, I have read, I think one or two of her books, maybe like her Christmas one last year. 
So I'm excited to check this one out. I know that a couple friends did enjoy this one last year, so we'll see what it's about. <laughs> so next up is my book haul from Book Bonanza, which was the book signing that I went to in Texas for the end of June. So these are pre-orders I did that like some of the authors have better deals or have special editions they were offering, as well as I picked up some special editions there as well that I saw and like some early releases that were out. So I am going to jump into them. So first up, I pre-ordered Transcendence by Shay Savage. This is one of my favorite reads of all time. I love this book so much. I think about it all the time and read it years ago, but I didn't have a physical copy of it. And then the author had like a special deal she had going on that made it cheaper than grabbing it off of Amazon. So I did that. This is a caveman romance, time travel. It sounds wild, but I swear it is so good, so emotional. I think about it all the time. <laughs> and she signed it in here as well. And it says that cavemen need love too. So true, love this. <laughs> Then Melian Harlow was doing a special edition for Book Bonanza it was Ignite, which is one of the books in her spinoff Cloverly Farms series that I absolutely loved. This is a fireman single dad hero. Heroine is his neighbor. There's an age gap. She's younger. Turns into like neighbors with benefits situation. It is so, so good. One of my favorites from her. So when I saw she was doing a special edition, I had to have it. So hopefully it shows all the fun details. And on the back, like just so good. And then there is like the interior formatting. Yeah, so excited to have this edition on my shelves because I love, love, love this book. Katarina Mora was doing a special edition of Bittersweet Memories there. So I grabbed this one. Love the pink on here. This is one of my favorite books from her. So I wanted to have it. Yeah, so excited to have this one. Then Sierra Simone was giving out this little like prequel novella for her new series that's coming out in September, which is going to be an MMF that I'm so, so excited for. I did read this one because she was giving out like ebook copies as well from her newsletter like last month or something, but I'm so excited to have a copy on my shelves because I loved this one and I'm so excited for the new series starting. But I wasn't actually able to get into Sierra Simone's line. So my sweet friend Tiffany from Tiff Talks Pages, I was waiting in line with her and like was filming her while she was up with Sierra. And then she asked Sierra if she could get a book for me since she was like, yeah, of course. And so she gave me one and I'm so excited. So thank you, Tiffany, so, so much. She also was able to get two books signed for me from Sierra as well. And so I'm just so, so thankful. So thank you, Tiffany. Next up, my first stop at Book Bonanza was going to Ruby Dixon's line to grab her Book Bonanza special editions. I do not regret a thing. They are absolutely stunning. It was just a delight to meet her and get all of my books signed. So worth it and had a great time. I did the King's Spencer's Bride as well as the Half Orcs Maiden Bride. So I will show them. So here's the first one. Love the shiny details and the back as well. And this is like a glossy hardcover as well. Then can you even like we get this step back moment obsessed and then she signed it as well loved it it was so fun meeting her and I'm so excited she was at a signing and then the second one I love the black and gold combo so shiny the back I still need to read this one but I did read the other one already again the same thing on the like hardcover and then we get a monster step back moment as well obsessed and then yeah signed as well so, so excited to have these. They are absolutely stunning. The like interior formatting, just obsessed and so excited to have these on my shelves. And Candy Signer also had early releases of her newest book, Meet Your Match, which is a hockey romance. First book in a new series coming from her in July. She had early releases out and I was able to snag this one. So, so excited to read it. QB Tyler's Table. She also had a special edition that she did with Dark and Quirky last year. So this is Love Unexpected love to see it so so much so yeah some of the authors will have special editions that they've done in the past with the book boxes and things like that like a limited amount at their table so that was one of them and then also emma scott had this gorgeous edition of the girl in the love song that she did with the australian book box beyond the pages last year so stunning like the shininess the shininess on the spine and on the back just so beautiful so excited to have this one the interior formatting as well like the musician notes and the guitar so good I think I've said before that beyond the pages is one of my favorite book boxes they are from Australia and it's definitely nice when you see them at signings and things like that to grab another special edition is indigo ridge from Devony Perry this is the first book in the Edens series and she had this at her table at the signing I think she said this one is coming to like her website later on probably at the end of summer some authors their special editions are only at book signings unfortunately and some of them they do put them up like on their websites later so I love the westernness of this <laughs> And the back it does include like the novella that she put out for the parents of the Eden story. So it has the Eden's legacy story in here as well. 
And yeah, I'm just excited to have it. This is my third edition of Indigo Ridge and Zero Regrets. <laughs> then I had a pre-order for Rewrite Our Story by Kat Singleton. It was so fun to see her there again. I've seen her at every book signing I've gone to this year. So I feel like I'm following them at this point. And her husband was even like, I feel like we just saw you in Seattle. And I was like, yep, you totally did. <laughs> but so that's always fun. And so yeah, excited to have this one. This is her small town recent release that I absolutely loved and definitely recommend checking out. Then at Laura Pavlov's table, she was doing like a giveaway. If you mentioned like a certain code or like phrase to her assistant, they'd give you a book for free. So I got Under the Stars, which is the second book in the Cottonwood Cove series. I didn't have this one, so I'm so excited to now have it. And she signed it, of course, as well and put like the little quote. So yeah, I love to see it. And I also had these three pre-ordered from Katarina Mora. Up, I had the regular edition of Bittersweet Memories. I love this one. This is one of my favorite books from her. So I was excited to have it. And then of course have the special edition version as well. These next two are signing exclusives that she does. So it's the regular book just with like a gold foil on it. So this is The Wrong Bride, one of my favorite books from her. This is my absolute favorite book from her, which is her newest release, The Unwanted Marriage. Both of these last two are in her Windsor's series. So it has this gorgeous gold shiny. These are arranged marriage setups. And then she signed it as well which was fun to meet her because she actually came from Hong Kong. So that was super fun. And I think it was her first US signing if I remember correctly. <laughs> and then a couple days before the signing was a separate like little bloom half price bookstore event that I actually missed out on because my flight got delayed and turned into a whole thing. And so I got there like three hours later than I was supposed to, missed the event, but I had already paid for a ticket, which included a book. And so my friends were super sweet. So shout out to my friends that I was with who picked up my book for me and got it signed for me from Kennedy Ryan. So thank you so, so much. I wish I was there with you guys because it looked like so much fun. And I was dying to meet Kennedy Ryan because she wasn't going to be at the Book Bonanza signing, but she was at that event a couple days early, but it's fine. I will see her at another signing in the future. And I'm just so excited that I did get my copy. So thank you so much. <laughs> So those are all the books that I recently hauled and I am so excited to finally be able to shelve them on my bookshelves and get them out of the way. So yeah, let me know in the comments maybe a recent book that you hauled or if you have any of these ones that I have as well. And yeah, hopefully I didn't forget any and if I did you'll see them featured in a future book haul video. So yeah, if you haven't done so yet make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I'll see you in my next one.